All right, friends, to get started on our rear brake job, let's go ahead and safely raise and support the vehicle, remove our center cover, then remove all six lug nuts so we can get the wheel off. Now from the back side of the caliper, you're going to go ahead and remove these little covers, and then we're going to remove these 7 millimeter Allen head bolts that hold the sliders. Let's use a pry bar, remove the caliper, go ahead and grab onto those sliders, take them right out, we'll set those aside for cleaning. At this point, we have the pads still inside the caliper, so let's get them out of there. I'm just going to come along this edge and pry that off, do the same over here. There we are. Go ahead and remove the inner pad by removing it from the actual caliper piston itself. It's got a clamp in there. Set that aside for recycling. Now you want to check your caliper to make sure you don't see any fluid leaking from around this area. If you see fluid, it's more than likely brake fluid, in which case the caliper is garbage. This looks great, so let's set it aside. Let's go ahead and remove the rotor. Now let's remove our caliper bracket bolts. Let's go ahead and clean down the e-brake shoe area. Let that dry. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is clean up our mating surfaces on the hub. Let's clean down the braking surface. And then of course, don't forget this area where the e-brake shoes are going to ride. Over on the bench, we need to make sure we clean up the bracket. When we clean it, we want to sand this area right along here and along the back side as well. That's going to make it so the pad can move. And of course, you want to do that on both sides of the bracket. Now we're just going to lightly coat the areas that we sanded with something that's going to help keep the moisture away. Do the same to the other side. Now back over at the truck, let's go ahead and make sure that our caliper pistons pushed all the way back. Next take a rag, roll it up a little bit, and get inside this area here. That's where the slider is going to be. You want it to be free and clear. Do both. All right, now that we have the caliper done, let's make sure that we clean up the slider pins. You want to make sure that they're free and clear of any debris or buildup. You also want to clean up the threading on your mounting bolts, and of course, use a little bit of red thread locker. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of lubricant to these sliders. Then we'll put them right in from the backside and in through these slider boots. Let's take a little bit of caliper grease and just go along the piston, and of course, along the backside of both ears. This is for the contact points. Time to get the pads onto the caliper. You want the rounded area of the inner pad so it's facing down and into the upper area of the caliper. Set it in just like this. Squeeze it so the tabs squeeze in. You should hear it latch in. Now it's going to be time for the outer pad. Just take it, slide it over the top like this. It goes right in. Now it's going to be time to install the bracket. Let's go ahead and put these in, snug them up, and then we'll torque them to 140 foot-pounds. Now let's go ahead and install our caliper. Now it's going to be time to install the caliper. We want to pay special attention to this area. There we are. Start in both of the sliders, snug them up, and torque them to 28 foot-pounds. Reinstall your covers. Let's go ahead and get the wheel back up on here. We'll start all the lug nuts, and then we'll torque them to 150 foot-pounds. Torqued. All right, friends, now all you have to do is go ahead and pump up that brake pedal so it's nice and firm, check your brake fluid, take it for a road test.